Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. In this video we visit Liverpool. Specifically, we visit St George's Hall. Here we find statues of Her Majesty Queen Victoria and also of Prince Albert. These statues, by Thomas Thornycroft, were dated 15 years after the Great Exhibition. When visitors passed through the main entrance to the Great Exhibition and entered the south transept, one of the first things they would see would be this statue of Queen Victoria on her favourite charger, Hammond. The exhibition catalogue credits this statue to Thomas and his wife Mary Thornycroft. Unfortunately this statue is believed lost, hence the visit to Liverpool, and a similar statue, by the same artist, the only significant differences between the two statues being the Queen's headgear and the horse's feet. The statue is to be photographed by a small drone. The drone automatically takes a photograph every two seconds, so all the operator has to do is move the drone to a new position every couple of seconds. Acquiring the photographs is automatic. Initially we take a wide angle of the whole statue, looking down, to avoid glare from the sun, from multiple directions. Then a closer view, requiring images from multiple vertical positions. Finally, with the camera horizontal, repeating the closer view, to get views of those parts of the statue which have an underside. The resultant set of photographs, 892 in the case of this statue of Queen Victoria, are then fed into reality capture, which calculates where each of the images was taken from and generates a point cloud. A model is then calculated from the point cloud, producing a solid surface of many millions of tiny triangles. The model can then be simplified to reduce the total number of triangles. We chose a limit of 500,000. Finally, the surface of the model is textured to recreate the real world item as a computer 3D model. I have made the model available in Sketchfab for anyone to use, but if you do, please provide the attribution as requested. See the link in the comments below this video. The Prince Albert model is also available on Sketchfab. Within the VR simulation, only the statue is used on a much simpler pedestal. Her Majesty Queen Victoria is back in the south transept of the Crystal Palace, to be seen by virtual visitors in the VR simulation, as she was seen by real-world visitors over 170 years ago. Prince Albert is also in place, on the east side of the north transept, representing the statue by Wyatt which occupied this position. However, this is a temporary arrangement for the simulation, the statues of Prince Albert in Glasgow and Wolverhampton are both a closer match to Wyatt's statue. As we look from the east end of the western nave, we can see the nave and transept are now starting to resemble how they looked at the actual Great Exhibition. Watch out for next week's video, Sculptures Galore.